everyone, it's Juliet, and today I'm taking a look at omega-3 fatty acid supplements for dogs. Um, the reason is because my little guy here, Jack, has been having really itchy skin, and it's not because of fleas, and we ch changed shampoos to moisturizing shampoo, and he was still going crazy. So a friend of mine said, you know what, he probably needs omega-3 supplement, and I'm like, what? So it was a good opportunity when um, I got got offered um, a supplement to review for dogs, it was a coincidence. Um, and as you know, as a reviewer, I only review um, products that I feel strongly about, that work really well, um, or that I can learn something from and you know, get information about. And sometimes the people who ask me to do reviews are not all that thrilled when I come up with the information um, that doesn't look good for their product. But in this case, this product looks good, and I'll tell you why. Um, because it's called Natural Strength Omega-3s, and what I learned is, and it's made of anchovy oil, what I learned is that that's a really good oil for a low toxin of uh, fish oil. And we know that fish oil can be toxic, so we want to have low toxin oil. So the first thing, good product, right? Um, second thing, does the dog need omega-3s? Well, um, I figured out that he does, and that's because um, he's not eating the right food, and that's because um, I wasn't feeding him the right food, and I wasn't being very conscientious, right, bud? Okay, but I am now, and if you are feeding a food that's high in grain, and in this case, yeah, the first ingredient was corn, um, I should be paying attention, but uh, that's a lot of omega-6 oil, which the dog needs, but if you have too much of that and not enough omega-3, then you're going to come up with skin problems. This is what I've read. Um, and so he needs omega-3s to offset those omega-6s, and meanwhile, I'm going to also get him better food with, with um, you know, not such a high grain content. So um, the omega-3... Uh, supplements, here's the thing, is that long-term use of omega-3 supplements has not really been studied. And so short-term use is really what, um, what can be safe um, and what can get him back in balance until he gets his you know, food balance better. Um, so that's what I'm going to do is short-term omega-3 for the little boy to get his skin back in shape. And I'm going to follow up in my text review um, to let you know what happens. So wish us luck, right, buddy?